Hi CMS members, Steve LaRock here with a how-to video to show you how you can set up email notifications whenever a new issue of CGM or CMB is published or when the newest CGM and CMB research is posted online even before appearing in a print issue. These are two related but distinct kinds of emails uh, so you can choose both or just one. There are quite a few names for this feature uh, that are used kind of interchangeably. They're all shown here, uh, but I'm just going to call these things the content alerts because that's what's going to appear at the top of the email messages anyways. So let's see what these emails look like so you can decide whether you want them at all. So here's a sample of a content alert email sent out whenever a new issue of CGM is published. It's sent by Cambridge University Press, of course, since they're our new publishing partner. So you'd want to uh, want to make sure that your spam filter allows emails from academic at updates.cambridge.org. So in the message, you can see that the redesigned uh, cover of uh, the journal appears here. And if you keep on scrolling down, uh, basically what we're seeing is a table of contents for the new issue where each title actually is linked to the abstract for that particular research paper. Now because it's really just an electronic version of the table of records we often uh, see this referred to as the ETOC. So who doesn't love an acronym? Um, it's also called an issue alert in different places. Unfortunately there are a lot of uh, a lot of names uh, used interchangeably uh, for this uh, for this tool. So this email is for a journal issue, but of course uh, you can have the same thing for a CMB uh, issue. So let's take a quick look next at uh, a first view content alert, uh, which shows the newest uh, research that hasn't yet been in print. first view, as you probably know, is the term for those research articles that are now published online but are not yet printed in an issue. Uh, we used to call this the online first section when it was on the uh, old CMS website, but now that it's on Cambridge Core, it's called first view. So here is such a content alert email which lists the newly available research in uh, the CMB. So again, you see uh, the new cover and a list of article titles, DOIs, and these are all links of course to the abstract pages for those particular research articles. So in some places Cambridge uh, calls this email um, an article alert which is uh, separate from the issue alerts that I showed you earlier with CJM. Uh, so there are really four uh, different content alert emails and you can decide on any combination of them. So each of the uh, the two publications, CGM and CMB, have article alerts when new research papers appear in first view and then later when some of those are compiled into a print issue the ETOC issue alert is uh, sent out. Okay, so I'm going to start by setting up issue alerts and article alerts for the bulletin. So first, go over to the bulletin's homepage over on Cambridge Core. So now I'm on the uh, the main page of the Canadian Mathematical Bulletin over on the Cambridge site. Over here you'll see a bell symbol which uh, says add alert. And that's what we're going to do. So what we want to do is click on that and then it's going to give me this warning if I'm not already logged in. You need to be logged in to your Cambridge Core account. Well, you do not normally have um, a Cambridge Core account unless you set one up. It's free to set up um, so we're just going to do that right now. And this is uh, filling things in the normal way. I'll quickly do this, jump ahead. Okay, now I filled in what I want in the register page. Um, 
the ORC ID, I don't think that's required at all. Uh, the organization would typically be the name of your own university, not the Canadian Mathematical Society. Um, and then there's a couple of uh, required tick boxes here for uh, agreeing to the terms of use. The second one is probably more promotional stuff, so you might not want to have that one on there. And I'll choose the CAPTCHA response and register. So now we've actually created an account. So you're going to have to go over to your email and click on the activation link. I'm sure everyone's seen that many times before. Okay, I went to my email, uh, found the message that uh, they sent as the verification and clicked on the activate link. And it brought me here. It says, thank you for registering. So you can now log in. Now this gets a little bit confusing because it has down here, select your society. Don't worry about that. That's only for um, societies that have um, a common login with uh, Cambridge Core. So with you, you just use the login button with your Cambridge Core account. And now I've got it filled in and I log in. So now you can see that uh, because I had started this whole uh, series of registration steps uh, by trying to click on the alert button, it actually completed the alert sign up. Now, by default, when you add the alert, it activates both the Table of Contents New Issue Alert and also the Article Alerts for newly published articles online in First View. That's what this notification is saying. I do want to manage the alerts, so I could click on the My Alerts link here, but let's take a quick look at the menu for logged in users. This is what happens here if you uh, take a quick look. You can log out there, you can go into my account, and in my account, there's my personal details, and there's my alerts on the side here. If I click on that, it shows me all of the different journals that I have signed up uh, to get alerts for. And how frequently the first few article alerts are going to be sent to me. So what I'd like to do actually is I'd like to add CJM. So I can click on add alert and I can search for Canadian Journal. Oh, there it is down on the list. And then that's added as well. Now this frequency selector is specifically for the first few article alerts. You can choose never if you don't want them at all. Otherwise, you tell the system to check every day, week, or month and email you if any new first few articles have been posted since the last email. So I've added these. And now I'm finished. I should be able to uh, get straight at my uh, emails uh, whenever they uh, are issued. Thank you.